Class, class, attention. We've been learning all week about Springfield, Missouri. Today, we're going to review for the big test on Friday. Can anyone tell me what the population of Springfield is? Yes, Sarah. Springfield's population is 150,000, which makes it the third largest city in Missouri. And the metropolitan statistical area is 420,000. Very good, Sarah. Now, can anyone tell me how many people visit Springfield annually? Yes, Sarah. About three million people visit Springfield every year, and it's no wonder. The city has more than 60 hotels and nearly 6,000 hotel rooms, and there are lots of things to see and do in Springfield. The city has 12,000 businesses and 800 restaurants, and there's Bass Pro, Fantastic Caverns, the Discovery Center, Dickerson Park Zoo, and lots more. There's even a national park just outside the city, Wilson's Creek National Battlefield. Sarah, it's such a pleasure to have you in my class. You always know all the right answers. Laura, please don't eat things that come out of your nose, even if they are peas. Sarah brought up an interesting topic, Springfield's history. Can anyone tell me about the Battle of Wilson's Creek? Sarah? The Battle of Wilson's Creek was in 1861, and it was the first major battle of the Civil War west of the Mississippi River. General Nathaniel Lyon was killed in that battle, along with hundreds of other soldiers. He was the very first general to be killed in battle during the Civil War. And did you know that after the Civil War, there was a Wild West shootout right on the town square? Wild Bill Hickok and a guy named Dave Tutt decided to duel, and Wild Bill shot Dave right through the heart. Lots of people visit the square today to see where the shootout took place because it made history. It was the first shootout to make national news and set the stage for the Wild West era. Excellent, Sarah. Can anyone tell me about other famous people who live in Springfield? Sarah? One of the most famous people is Brad Pitt. He grew up in Springfield and his family still lives here. There's also Tess Harper, John Goodman, and Kathleen Turner. They all went to college in Springfield and Bob Barker went to high school in Springfield. My favorite person from Springfield is Lucas Gabriel. He's a star in High School Musical. And someday, Springfield will have a famous baseball player because the Springfield Cardinals play double-A baseball at the newly constructed Hammonds Field. Wow, Sarah, excellent answer. Now, Springfield also has another professional team. Can anyone tell me who that might be? Yes, Sarah. It's the Springfield Lasers, a professional tennis team. And did you know the women's basketball team at Missouri State has gone to the Final Four twice? And Springfield is one of only a few cities in the country that are part of the Community Olympic Development Program. Springfield has such great sports facilities, an ice arena, lots of soccer fields, and basketball courts, too. And once the JQH Arena and O'Reilly Family Center are completed, Springfield will have six sports arenas. That's probably why Sports Illustrated Magazine named Springfield a Sports Town USA. Sarah, you just keep impressing me. How do you know so much about Springfield? Springfieldmo.org. Duh. Hi, I'm Tracy Kimberlin, president of the Springfield Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I'd like to personally welcome the Missouri Tourism Commission to our city. Since it's been several years since the commission met here, we thought we would have a little fun and show you some of the many things to see and do in our city, and also show you the impact that Springfield has on Missouri's tourism industry. We hope you enjoy your stay while here and have the opportunity to explore our city. Now, here's a couple of other videos we'd like to show you. One is a promotional video from our website, and the second showcases our meeting facilities and hotels. Again, enjoy your stay while here, and remember, don't eat the things that come out of your nose.